Good morning everybody from beautiful Medjugorje. It's another beautiful day as you can see the sun is shining, light clouds. It's a bit chilly, I got a wind jacket on and a t-shirt and but a wind jacket, yeah? And let's go together into town and check out what's going on. See they make it very nice here, the roundabout, everything new, they planted olive trees grass to make magic going nice well, let's go together into town and see what's going on over there I did a beautiful interview with a lady from South Africa and a beautiful interview with a lady from Lebanon she saw uh, the group saw our lady literally check that out the first part is already online of the video there's a beautiful prayer by Father Liam yesterday, Feast of St. Francis. Let's go through the old town, Medjugorje. And you see here for children, when you come here, they can play even behind the church. It's very beautiful. You can come as a family. There's a lot of space where children can play. There are the dogs. Here are a lot of dogs in Medjugorje. They will love. They are kind. Wandering around here in town. I call them the therapy dogs. Very nice dogs. And also when you see these dogs, give them something to eat, you know. Don't let them alone. And let's go together. We have all this, there are pensions here, all over Medjugorje, because so many people come and then they need to sleep somewhere. Before they sleep, they slept in, in tents, on terraces in summer when it was warm, you know, people shared the houses. But you, can, you can't do that long term, you have to think about that this is, um, this is a strain of the people as well, you know, I mean, say oh in Medjugorje changed a lot of hotels all that stuff but think about that these people have to take care of this children this this young uh, how to say this this um, pilgrims you know and it's it's you know it's a town of 4,000 people I think Medjugorje and 41 million people came over the last 40 years so think what that means for the population of Medjugorje as well you know it's that's a friend of mine said he opened my eyes you know there are millions of people streaming in, into that little town into that little church over there you know not little church but church and um, also the Franciscans pray for the Franciscan what tre tremendous job they are doing you know they say people say well they were more open maybe in time of Father Slavko but, but they, you know, there's so many people here and they come wounded as I came and want healing and, you know, how, how, do, how did they do that? They only can ha have done it with Our Lady's help and building, you know, building this, uh, this mansion somewhere, somewhere to sleep and, and pray for your priests, you know, I see it myself, you know, at one point I want to be just alone and not do interviews, have my private time. It's the same for priests. I mean, they give their time, their life for you, and we are criticizing them. The most criticized people are them. Instead of criticize what I do now, when I criticize, I double down with prayer for them, you know? Because don't criticize. Speak the truth, that's okay, but in love with them, you know? They gave their life for you. They are the portal to heaven. You see, and pilgrims everywhere. Here we go, a steady stream of coming and going. Now you see why there are the pensions. Because people are coming from all over the world. Hello, where are you from? You see, these pilgrims came from France now, from Lyon. Just had a little chat with them. Hello. Look at them, that's a nice man. And let's go into town and see what's going on there. 
here we are coming into the center of the town and please again I want to emphasize this again please pray for, for the Franciscans here and every priest who gives up the time for you you know how often how many hours I spend in confessions they give their life their time for you and pray for them instead of criticizing <laughs>